it's so exciting. The all whites against the all reds in Paris once again. I just think it is absolutely huge. I'm sure you had a Ford Capri at the time, like, you know, and it was a souped up one, if I remember rightly, like, you know, but he had a Ford Capri and he put it on the front seat and, uh, you know, everybody else had to get in the back seat and whatever. Um, but he, he knew he had to look after it. He knew he was responsible for it. And, um, you know, I think the rest is history about going to the, some of the pubs in, in Kirby, like, you know. Well, it wasn't a mission, Yorick. It was always in my safe hands. I, I, I did, and I'd always planned that I was taking it back to the Falcon. I was taking it home, the Falcon and Kirby. So it, it's now become quite legendary. I travel a country and they say, is, is, is it a myth or is it true that you took the European Cup to a pub in Kirby? And I did. I, after we'd done the tour, I put the European Cup in a big velvet bag in the back of my Ford Capri, and off I went to the Falcon. Can I just tell you, I went to some of the pubs in Kirby as well, and they were brilliant, brilliant people. They were, they were because p people like Phil Thompson, people like Terry McDermott and others who come from Kirby, you know, they were very, very proud of where they came from. I'd seen Emlyn lift it in 77 and 78. So, of course, my, my nerves were on edge. I was desperate. This, I wanted it to be my moment. I, you can call me selfish, but that's what it was. It was a personal thing. Never ever forgot the team, the team spirit, but it was massive. The week before was, it was just normal training um, and um, you know a, a, a build up to the final. Um, it wasn't a special week in any way, shape or form. We travelled on the Monday, if I remember rightly. We got there on the Monday afternoon. We, we, we went to the stadium and we saw how, how bad the pitch was. Uh, we looked at what, what we had to do and and then Bob Paisley named the team. Um, I think I think he named the team quite close to, to the actual kickoff. He didn't want anybody to, you know, sort of like know what the team was going to be. I had an injury. I, I had a broken wrist, um, and whether they were taking a chance on it, nobody knew until the final moment. But you know, to to play for your for your, for your club and to be in a European Cup final was just tremendous. There wasn't that many people there, unfortunately. It was covered on TV, but you know there was only 48, 50,000 people there, and most of them, most of them were from Liverpool. We'd, we'd had 77 and 78 successes. Real Madrid hadn't had success for a while in the in the because they were the most successful team because of their long history prior to that. So of course this was a big game, probably bigger for Real Madrid than it was for Liverpool because we were kings of European world football. So it was massive. We always said, and Bob Paisley and, 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 um, and, and Joe Fagan and Ronnie Moran were good at this. They were good at bringing you right back down to earth. And they basically said, the 11 players on the pitch and maybe one or two subs, you know, you're part of Liverpool Football Club. It doesn't matter who scores the goal. It doesn't matter if it's Dalglish or it's, or it's David Johnson or it's Terry McDermott. It doesn't matter. It's about winning the game, and that was the important side of it, and that's what we looked at after the game. It wasn't about me scoring the winning goal. I didn't know at one stage I, I had scored the winning goal because we had eight minutes left of play, and if there was any extra time, if there was you know, penalties at the end of it, then, you know. But they nev never really created that many chances that we were worried about. Alan Hansen and, again, Phil were, were dominant you know, against their centre forward, but like you know, there's a, if you, if they take one chance, they might take two. It was. See, I always believed it's the right way to do it. Is the captain goes up first? That is his moment in the spotlight. That the pictures are going to be beamed all around the world in all the papers, and that that was my moment. I'd seen those glorious pictures of uh, uh, Emlyn in Rome and at Wembley, and I, I just wanted that moment. So I'm first up there. And as you can see with the, the UEFA delegate, shakes my hand and then starts to raise the European Cup. And that is my moment. You can see my hands going like that. Give me that cup here. And it is just that thrill to be the first Gausser to lift the uh, European Cup. Was, it was the best footballing moment of my life just to do that and raise that cup. It was most People say, how is it? Is it that big? Is it that heavy? But you realise if you want that great money shot there, you need to lift it quite low down on the ears 
and then lift this so that it gets your beam and smile. And I've got so many pictures in my house of that moment. It is that I relish.